Welcome back to Jamie Reviews. I am Jameson Michael, and as you can see, today we have the Nike Zoom Fly Fly Knit, or the Zoom Fly 2 for those who want to call it that. And before we get started, we would like to give a special thank you to our sponsors, BelieveInTheRun.com, for supporting our antics. So, as the name states, they added Fly Knit. So, besides that, were there any other changes? Well, it's Nike, so you never know. So, for better or worse, let's get right into it. So last year Zoom Fly used Nike's typical fly mesh upper that worked well in most cases. It was a bit thin but light. This year they gave the shoe the fly knit treatment, which to some people is a bit less of a performance material and more of a fashion statement. As far as the Zoom Fly fly knit, I think it works in its favor performance wise. The fly knit was breathable and has a very seamless fit. The overall shoe isn't wide, but it is much more accommodating than other Nike running shoes out there. The midfoot wrap, check. A decent sized toe box? Check. A seamless fit with an added pull tab? Check. Now the tongue and heel cup are fairly thin. And although shoes like the Epic React had a very thin heel area and it didn't bother me, the heel in the Zoom Fly gave me some issues at first. After about a few days, it wasn't bad, but now I'm just paranoid about it. The rest of the upper is fairly simple. It's fly knit, but no fly wire this time. But it didn't seem to make a noticeable difference. I like simple uppers, and this was simple. The midsole for us is where the shoe makes the biggest changes. Gone is the Lunalon foam from last year. This fly knit version uses Nike's React cushioning system, which I like overall in other shoes. As far as how it felt, it felt like last year's shoe, but just a bit more. But a bit more what? And I would say a bit more everything. It's a bit softer. It's a bit more bouncy. But it actually weighs a bit more. But it really doesn't feel like it. Now the quote gimmick from last year's breaking two series of shoes with the nylon and carbon fiber plates. In the Vaporfly, it made the shoe into a prime time shoe. The nylon plate in last year's shoe was pretty good in my opinion as far as adding some responsiveness and kind of pushing you forward. And well I guess Nike decided to give the shoe some love and give the Zoom Fly the full carbon plate experience. But does it make a difference? Yup. In a good way. It just has a better overall feel, comfort and performance wise. Combined with the React cushioning, it's a pretty good combination. Now the outsole of the shoe is basically the same as last year's. A lot of rubber in the midfoot, forefoot area, and some in the outer area of the heel. In the middle of the shoe is still exposed, which I think should be fine for most runners. Now traction was okay. It's been raining a lot and wet areas were kind of slick. Flexibility of the shoe is pretty stiff, but I believe the carbon plate kind of makes you not realize it as much while running. But yeah, the shoe is still stiff. So is the Zoom Fly Fly Knit a good shoe? Yes. Is it a better shoe than last year's? Yes. Minus the gained weight. When people compare the Zoom Fly to the Vapor Fly last year, it was a clear winner that the Vapor Fly was a better overall shoe. Given that both were kind of made for racing, the Zoom Fly became many people's training shoe. Now I won't go as far as saying that this shoe is better than the Vapor Fly, but I will say that the gap has closed. And will most people notice the $90 difference? Maybe. But as a standalone shoe, the Zoom Fly Flyknit seems to be a great option for those who either love the first version or want a fast day race day type shoe. Now, if you hated the original Zoom Fly, I don't think this shoe will change your mind. But hey, we liked it. Impressive. Thanks for watching and thank you to BelieveInTheRun.com for supporting the channel. They provide the most up-to-date, easy-to-read, brutally honest reviews on all things running, shoes, gear, and everything in between. Links to their website and YouTube channel will be down below, including their review to the Nike Zoom Fly Flyknit. Maybe they liked it, maybe they didn't. You gotta go read it to find out. With that said, hit that subscribe button if you like puppies or Chick-fil-A, which should cover everybody. You can follow me at Jameson Runs on the IG and Twitch. Links to the shoes will be down below. And as always, stay in school, don't do drugs, and keep it tight.